Oh, they probably messed up because they put a Ross right next to the Michaels and there's a Home Goods across the street. It's like, why would they do that? It has a fireplace. That's really all I wanted. Adulting sucks. Kind of don't like it. <laughs> Day drinking. I bought just like regular LED lights off of Amazon. There we go. And put them behind the TV. Today is like my little pick me up, maintenance type of day thing. I just got my eyebrows done. I was trying to perfect my, my drink recipe and I kept drinking to make it taste better. And yeah, your girl is spinning, okay? I, I am happy here, but I think the homesickness is starting to kick in just a little bit. What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Last vlog, I did bartending with Talitha. Today we're doing protein smoothies with Talitha. Good time, because if there's one thing I do know how to make, it's a protein smoothie. I saw a personal trainer last week and I was told I need to eat 220 grams of protein a day and almost 3,000 calories for my weight and height. That's crazy, and I know for a fact we have not been touching that. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not perfect, but you know, we gonna do something because I want to be thicker. The gains to really show up how I need them to show up, I have to start eating more. All right, this is like my favorite protein smoothie recipe that I've like got her down packed. Passion fruit tropical blend, it's from Target. It has pineapple chunks, dragon fruit, passion fruit, and mango. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going with my protein powders. So there's two of them. One of them is just Oxy Whey protein. You know, nothing special. It's vanilla. I like this one because you get 21, 21, 21. <laughs> 28 grams of protein per serving, which is which is nice. This protein is by this um, gym girl. Her name is Kathy. She has the body I want. So it's called Quick Thick, and this tastes. So good. If you eat protein, you know protein does not taste that good. But this one, fire. Scoop of this. Usually I use honey, but I don't have any honey. Well, I do, but I don't know where I put it at. So instead of looking for it, we're gonna use brown sugar. Milk and I, we've never been friends. Okay, like cow milk, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I cannot do it. We're gonna give her a shake. Mm, not bad. Mm -hmm. We have a lot more packages. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I'm buying. I just have a lot of stuff coming in. <laughs> I don't know. The first package I already opened, and then I was like, hmm, maybe I should film this. I bought some new some new gym shorts. I decided maybe I should give Gym Shark a break because my bank account. She's been taking a lot of hits recently. It's time to let her breathe a little bit. These look kind of tiny. I don't know about this one. We're gonna try them on. I wanted to do like a whole um, like Amazon short try on video for TikTok. What is this? Oh, I think these are the pillowcases. Cute, simple. I'm a very simple woman. Okay, I like the, the small things. These are kind of smaller than I thought they'd be. We're gonna make it work though. We have another pair of baby shorts. This is gonna be interesting. These look like they'll fit Tabitha. They don't look like they'll fit me. <laughs> What is this? I'm confused. Oh, okay. This is a big pillow, what the heck? It's almost the size of the refrigerator. That's crazy. That's not a problem. I just order stuff and hope it works. Instead of measuring it, I just buy it and I'm like, I'll figure the rest out later. Pretty sure this is another one. Another one, thank you. Two ginormous pillows. They seem big, but I didn't realize how big a California King mattress is until I tried to put pillows on there and I'm like, why do these look so small? It's because the bed is ginormous. It's crazy because I was laying in it and I thought I was taking up the entire bed. I only took up like a third of it. And I honestly love that for us. Sleep over at Talitha's house. Who wants to come? These are the shorts I was really excited for. The green ones, because I love Oh yeah. Oh, I hope these fit because I'm gonna wear them today. There's this fitness brand called Peachy Bum and they only do small, medium, large. That doesn't fit me, okay? Like, I got a lot of legs, a lot of booty, it, it don't work. These are very similar to the style on their website, but they go up to an extra large. So hopefully these fit me. We're gonna try them on like right after I finish opening the rest of these boxes. 
I'm so excited. I got a throw blanket, but why does it look like a piece of coal? <laughs> this thing is heavy. Let's go. Yes. Oh, and it's like a knit. Oh, this is gonna be such a good blanket to sleep on. What is this? Is this my duvet cover? Yeah. Yeah. It was $200, so it better be good. She's busting out. She said, rip me out the plastic. Rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. I have the first pair of shorts on actually before we talk about that I want to show you all the vanity mirror. I hung it up um, at first I had it horizontal But then I flipped it and reversed it because I didn't like how it looked with like my jewelry thing It didn't fit if I put it horizontal. So I flipped it and did it vertical But now I don't really like these lights on here and I still have to like play with it a little bit because I didn't really do it last night because I was tired but it still needs some some touches like the Talitha Jane finesse touch on it but I'm gonna keep playing with it and see you know I'm gonna make it work. I'm in the sun so it's kind of bright but I haven't done my makeup or like really done my hair since I moved and I've been feeling so ugly recently like I just have not been feeling like myself I have not been feeling like I look attractive I haven't been feeling like pretty you know and that's not a fun thing to go through so I'm thinking maybe once I get my vanity I might do my makeup and like I don't know take myself on a date because I just haven't been feeling good about my appearance probably because I've been tired for like the past month and I feel like I don't know I haven't gotten ready like the most you get out of me these days is a lash and even then that's pushing it so I don't know I just haven't really been feeling like good about myself but you know it happens bartender Talitha just clocked back in day drinking I have been drinking a lot more than I typically do which is probably also why I have not been feeling good about myself because drinking you gain weight and I have definitely gained like 10 pounds since I moved here so love that <laughs> right right and I haven't been working out that much either so I've not been feeling my best mentally. Hopefully things, I'm gonna put y'all down. I just really hope that things turn around for me mentally because like in moving, this is not how you wanna feel. And it's upsetting because I really like the place I'm staying in. I really like Houston as a city, but not feeling good here is not a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a vibe. I'm supposed to be having fun and living my best life. But no, not only have I been in the house, my spiritual relationship with God has been slacking. I did not plan on getting this deep right now, but we're here. Since I moved, I've only been talking to God when I want something. And it makes me feel really guilty about the relationship that I have with him because that's not the relationship I've built, you know? I moved here because I was able to discern and hear God's voice clearly and like, I don't know, my dad always says in a relationship, you spend time with that person. Like you take them on dates and you call them and you visit them and you, you know, do all the things to get to know that person. And we should treat God the same. Like we should be in a spiritual relationship with God. And that's why I feel like Christianity and honestly, whatever religion you practice should be a relationship and not a religion, you know? I definitely feel like the relationship aspect, at least like on my spiritual journey has been slacking. I just don't like how I feel right now. You know, everything was going so well right before I moved and then I moved and I feel like I'm just going like that. It is what it is, I guess. I don't know, just a lot going on. A lot of things happening, a lot of moving pieces that I'm trying to make move at once, even though I don't have to. But anyway, here's the shorts, the gym shorts. It's barely shorts. These are like almost underwear, just about. We're gonna go to the bathroom because the lighting out here is weird. It's too bright. Back has like that scrunchy, like, a booty, a booty detailing. This is what gives you the BBL effect. Mm -hmm. The only thing though is I've been very insecure about my stomach recently because of me gaining weight, so that's fun. I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but if Talitha the Jane is insecure about anything, it's my thighs. And not because of how they look, but because of how big they are. Like when I was younger, I used to never wear pants because I didn't want people to see like the size of my individual thighs like i would wear skirts all the time because you couldn't see like what my legs look like you know and being half naked when i go to the gym is crazy progression but i don't know and maybe it's just i don't i don't know what's wrong with me it's too much leg and usually i don't say that and i don't know why i'm saying that now in order to combat that i'm gonna wear them anyway so what's the saying fake it till you make it Later. The following day. 
Hello vlog, happy Wednesday. There's a lot of things I wanna talk about, but before I get into any of that, I was in Target buying like, you know, small things that I needed. I met a follower at checkout and she was like, can we take a picture? And she told me that she just moved here from, I'm not gonna put her information out there actually. She told me that she just moved here and we were talking, chopping it up, whatever. And she was like, I'm buying an air mattress. And I'm like, girl, just use mine. Like air mattresses are expensive. I know how that goes. And just, you know, give it back when you're done. So we're gonna meet her. She's downstairs. If there's one thing I like about being in like a bigger city, it's you get to try things. So, oops, <laughs> sorry. I was in Target, right? And this is like, it's really the small things that make me happy. Um, you know, I'm buying Celsius as I usually do. And tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. It's a new flavor. It is a sparkling mandarin marshmallow. It's gonna taste like a dreamsicle, popsicle. We're gonna try it right now, actually. Do I need, to? we'll try it tomorrow. I don't need to, mm -mm. But yeah, I went kind of crazy on the Celsius. And then the sparkling lemon lime, we don't have that in Colorado either. So I was like, I was lit. I bought an embarrassing amount of Celsius, but it's okay. Cause I'm gonna drink it. So it's like not a waste of money, you know? Celsius, please sponsor me because your girl, single-handedly giving them business like that's crazy i'm gonna give a, a word for the vlog sure. oh is it my son <laughs> tiberius i miss you so Sorry. much the word is um being in uncomfortable situations moving out of your comfort zone basically yeah that's a tough one in a sense because you can look at it two ways one you're stretching yourself and you're going forward. In either case, moving out of your comfort zone might be taking you into a path, of course, that you're not familiar with. There's a scripture in Psalms 1 that say the path is the paths of a good man are guided and directed by the Lord. If you believe that your paths are guided and directed by the Lord, then you'll move into that space even though it's out of your comfort zone. Okay, there's another scripture. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Lean not onto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Mm. So leaning on your own understanding will put you in your comfort zone. Leaning on his understanding will take you out of your comfort zone, but you have to let God, God direct you and guide you into your path. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Not my business. A little shameless plug. <laughs> Lean on me. 3, 5, 6. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. The vlog appreciates you. You're welcome. The following day. Hello, everybody. So today's Friday. Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Last night, I ended up going out. One of my friends, it's her birthday, and she literally has five days of events planned out. And we were at camp last night, and then we went to Area 29, which is a strip club. And honestly, I'm not really a strip club type of woman. If that's your vibe, I'm definitely not knocking it. But I honestly like nightlife as a whole. I prefer like the more chill, laid back type of vibe, like watch movies, stay in with like people I'm close with. And then even if I do go out, I prefer going out with people that like I know, you know, I don't know. I like more intimate settings. However, I will pop out every now and then because like, why not, right? So she has literally like different sections at five different clubs throughout the week and i went last night and then i'm gonna go again on tomorrow saturday just because it's her birthday and like you know i want to i want to show it show out so i feel like i haven't been vlogging this much this week because this is the week where living here like actually hit me if you haven't noticed i call this place a house but i never call it home you know like i always say i'm going back or i'm going to where i live because this isn't home for me and i feel like I need to make that mental switch between home in Denver and home in Houston. But like, as of right now, it really doesn't feel like home. And I think that's kind of sad. And it's one of the reasons why I've been considering moving back. I'm not, but it's just, I think that adjustment between not seeing my family is really hard. Yeah, I've been sad this week. I've been very, 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 very sad. 
And on top of being sad, it's like you're sad, okay, whatever. When we don't look good, we don't feel good. And I feel so crusty and like not attractive and just bad about my physical appearance right now. The transition has not been smooth to say the least. I think that's why I distract myself by building things and trying to move stuff and put stuff away very quickly because if I'm focused on that, I don't have to worry about the mental aspect. So coping, right? Struggling just a little bit and not even gonna hold you, but one step at a time. It's already almost been a month since I've been here. So it's definitely flying by. For tomorrow, I wanna do like a Q&A get ready. Hmm? Hmm? I didn't show y'all, but what time is it? Cause I'm actually leaving soon. I should probably get my clothes together. <laughs> so I finished the dresser. Look at it, it looks so pretty. I'm actually really proud of it because y'all this thing like, she doesn't wobble she doesn't wiggle like she's solid she's sturdy i didn't miss not one single step when it came to this usually when i build stuff it's like it's good but you got to be gentle with it or you have to like don't you know certain drawers don't work or you gotta like hold your mouth right as my dad would say not that because i ate that me and that drill we go together real bad and honestly i'm upset that i started getting like my building skills i have to warm them up you know so i'm upset that they warmed up on like the last thing i built but it's okay it's okay my room is coming together. I still want to figure out like, the color scheme is black, white, and gold. If you couldn't tell, cause you're gonna love her gold details. This dresser is from Ikea. I can link it in the description box, but these knobs I bought on Amazon. I didn't like the handles it came with, so I just bought separate ones. Like this, I changed out the handles too. And then the dresser over there, I changed out the handles. Because it makes it look bougie, okay? It makes it look more put together and more expensive depending on what you get you know and then what else did i do oh let me show y'all because i'm so excited let me turn the light off so you can get the full effect i love i look like a shadow hold up <laughs> i love interior design and i was actually gonna go to school for that low-key so that's why i'm really excited right now and also my mom does interior decoration as well so that's where i get it from but look oh we put the lights behind the tv too so again, these are just like regular strip lights off of Amazon. But tell me that that doesn't look so like expensive. Could change the colors and whatever. So yeah, love it. Ooh, the yellow's kind of a vibe. Very chill, I like that. Ooh, I like the orange too. We're gonna leave it orange. Things are coming together very nicely. Ooh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> the plan with that dresser is put these clothes in there it's still empty there's probably only like four things in it so i'm probably gonna do this tomorrow and then i also want to get like a we're gonna go to target and do it get like a storage thing to put underneath here for my sweatpants because i have a lot of sweatpants other than that she's looking real good i really like the creative direction everything is going in minus the kitchen i don't know what the the kitchen is just like it's not it's not giving what it needs to give i talked about it in my last vlog or two vlogs ago two i think it was i might paint the counters the cabinets white i might hire someone to do it because that's a big project and my mom isn't here to help me i thought they were black right that's what i wanted either black or white but they're brown and i don't want that all the money i'm paying to live here i should get what i want you know i might do white we'll see i'm gonna let it sink in i'm gonna get a table over here finish the living room and get a coffee table before i make the decision to start painting things you know but my mom truly is like such an amazing woman and i love her and she told me that no matter how long you're there you should never be uncomfortable in the space you're living so i'm like whether i stay here whether i move to a different building in houston whether i move to colorado like whatever the case may be we're gonna make it look like like i like it you know like i don't want to i'm more inclined to leave if i don't like the aesthetic if i don't like how it looks you know so we're gonna do our bestest truly 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 going to give it my best shot and making it look how i see it in my head it's getting there for sure still got some a ways to go but i like it with the closet room she's amazing like okay this half is amazing it's everything i saw in my head like just that section alone but this part i am not a fan of like i don't like it at all i might take all my sneakers and just put them in that closet because 
I don't like having them on display. Like, I don't mind it, but it's really not what I wanted. And I just don't like how they look right here. Honestly, with this room, I had a different vision in mind, at least for half of it. So I literally, right before I started vlogging, I said, I'm just gonna redo it. Why not? I have nothing but time. <laughs> nothing but time and all the money I saved to decorate. I'm like, do it, use the money what you put it aside for. I've been extra cheap these days. I feel like my dad, I don't wanna spend money on anything. Maybe when I come back from Hawaii, I'll deal with that. Cause I don't, I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Before I head out, I wanna show y'all something I bought. I'm tired of carrying groceries. Like, okay, first of all, I'm tired of going to the grocery store. It's like I go grocery shopping or decor shopping, or I'm buying something almost every day and I'm like, please make a stop. And carrying all that stuff from my car to in here and then from the elevator to the, it's a lot of carrying. And it's not that I can't. I tell myself I lift weights so I can carry it cause it's not heavy. Never that. It's just inconvenient, you know? I bought this wagon, like a little grocery wagon on Amazon. I will link her down below. Having this cart makes my life so much easier. The only thing is now I have to remember to bring it with me. My plans got canceled for the night, which is kind of sad, kind of hurt my feelings, but it's okay. I, in turn, maybe that's God, like, Talitha, you don't need to be out. You need to in the house so i don't know what he's trying to tell me but it's no fun when you had your your hopes high but i think what i'm gonna do instead is focus on putting the rest of my clothes away and then probably just call it a night early i've been drained since i moved here i'm literally tired of being tired like i can't it's no fun y'all i'm tired of it the following day hello everybody happy saturday well technically it's almost sunday because it's literally eight minutes away from being midnight so happy uploading day so i'm like getting ready to go out earlier in the vlog i mentioned my friend it's her birthday and she has like literally sections on top of sections on top of sections and we're going out again so Joel, i'm not really the type of like go out be outside type of person but you know, if we're friends and I like you, I'm gonna show up, you know? You know, it's that simple. I'm gonna film this for TikTok as well. Wow, to say I've been slacking is an understatement. Like, I have been so distracted since I moved here. Like, my mind has been on something else that we're not talking about right now, but I have not been on top of my, my job. I wanna take accountability for that because not only is social media my job, but it's something I love doing and everything like, me not feeling my best, me not like looking my best, things like that are the result of me not working because I truly do love what I do and I haven't been doing it, you know? I apologize. Um, I do only post weekly on YouTube, but if you follow me on other platforms, you know that the content goes up consistently or it used to for the past three weeks, it really hasn't, but we're, we're done with that because I'm tired of my own excuses, you know? I need some music. Wow, I think I forgot how to how to get ready. Like, what? What is this? Where's my playlist? Oh, I haven't had a playlist in forever. Hey Siri, play Let's Get Ready playlist on shuffle. I had conflicting opinions about Miss Doja Cat but she ate with this one. Wanna check out what they my name out? It's that weird swag. Weird money, weird. Just put me near that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rich body, big body, be a. I like his tongue in my mouth. How do he like you but don't buy you jewelry? Cause I'm confused, I don't get it. I was watching another Get Ready and my girl said, if he sees you in Chanel, he should buy you Chanel. And I have never felt a statement in my heart. Like I look materialistic, why would you come over here without materials, you know? And I feel like there's a difference between being a gold digger and just wanting someone to meet you where you're at, you know? Mm, baby, what you think this is? Why you wanna plead the fit if you ain't gotta tell me what it is? I have been reading the comments. I read every single comment y'all leave. Even if I don't reply, I see them all, okay? I see them all. And there's two that kind of stood out to me. Don't go home until you've developed a routine in Houston. And that makes perfect sense to me. And the other comment pretty much said how she moved away from her family, like to a different state. 
and she literally ended up moving back home because she missed like being around her family. I'm kind of just venting, okay? I'm just opening the floor to show y'all where my head is at right now. I will probably keep comparing Houston to home for until like for as long as I'm here, you know? Houston is not home. It's just a place where I live and until I feel like I can call it home here, I probably will always want to go back, you know? I was told that home is all I knew and everything after that is just going to be compared to home, rightfully so. And it makes me realize that moving out doesn't define you as an adult. Moving out does not define your independence. I feel like in today's society, you are so pressured to move out of your parents' house, but there's nothing wrong with staying there, you know? On social media, you literally see the best, including myself. Like, I want to post my accomplishments and show like, I bought this, I got this, but everyone's timeline is different. Definitely made me realize that there is no right or wrong way to do things for yourself. You know, you should make yourself happy at the end of the day. And if people judge you, let them talk. Most people, when they move, they worry about the financial aspect. My concern is, um, can't bother my mom anymore. You know, like I love watching movies with my dad and I like talking to my sister. And, you know, even though I hate it, taking my little brother to his friend's house. Those are things that like, don't happen anymore you know one of the reasons i moved to houston specifically over like any other state was just because a i've traveled here a lot and b i love the atmosphere i love the vibes for my job you know influencing it was a lot easier not easier because it was easy in colorado it's just a matter of like networking opportunities are bigger out here and also like um the cost of living so like where i'm living now easily 10k in Colorado. I really love that I stopped wearing a full face of makeup because I'm just gonna sweat it off anyway. Second, you save so much time by only doing the things that matter. To what extent am I acting up tonight? Because I'm trying to be like a lady, but at the same time, I'm like, I really don't care. Like I'm here for a good time and a long time, you know? I'm coming, my baby. Go get on cracker that Birkin little baby. He goes to see Mako wanna go crazy. I hit Mercedes inside of Mercedes. Look at me, what she wanna be? Call me Freaky T. My battery definitely died when I was getting ready. That was disrespectful. That was disrespectful. But the makeup is finished. Literally, it's my everyday makeup look that has no skill required. <laughs> But here's the outfit. I wanted to bring out the lime green tonight. Yeah, these pants are like kind of, they fall down a lot. So hopefully I don't get like, you know, that diaper, the diaper booty, it's okay. <laughs> my Uber is one minute away. I'm gonna go. I will vlog on my phone and I'll see y'all at the club. Ooh. <laughs> I'm back. It is 4.09 in the morning. If there's one thing about being in Houston is y'all be outside. <laughs> y'all be outside and I really can't hang. I definitely had fun. Um, dang, it's like almost four in the morning and people were very much active when I left. And I'm like, y'all ain't tired yet? Y'all ain't gotta go to church tomorrow? <laughs> but um, did get a few pictures in this outfit. Not what I wanted, so y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm about to get my light set it up on the balcony and take some pictures because I'm like this outfit is too good to waste it and I yeah the makeup is done when's the last time I did my makeup exactly and like I mentioned before I haven't been posting and like I really want to get back on top of doing my job you know so it is four in the morning but you know work doesn't stop and I chose to go out so I'm gonna choose to do my job right right never in my life been more excited to take some heels off. I've literally had these on since I left at like midnight. <laughs> Only the strong survive, okay? It's been almost five hours in heels. I'm a professional. I do this. I'm true to this, not new to this. Modeling, y'all. Modeling, it kills your feet. The girls that wear heels get it. That first like toe bend, 
after you take the shoes off you can't beat that feeling it feels so good someone stepped on my toe and broke my freaking toenail like why would you do that i think i got some pretty decent pictures honestly i'm not gonna stress myself out over it my only concern is like finding locations to take pictures because you know in denver i have my spots ready and also denver is a safer city i could easily just be like down me and tabitha downtown at night it's quiet seldom that people like bother you in denver my fear out here is i set that tripod up next thing you know it's snatched and someone's running off with my second phone <laughs> i'm going to end the video with the shout outs y'all already know the drill if you comment the champagne emoji on my instagram you can get a shout out and as of literally today i'm tired of not posting so there will be more pictures and more reels on my instagram so make sure you follow your girl the first shout out is going to they envy that wait what they nvc it's been a long day it's okay <laughs> oh and she lives in houston girl say what's up if you see me you know i be out no i don't that's a lie <laughs> you like my voice it turn you on and there ain't nothing until you see it now if you put a ring on it we can talk this next shout out is going to d underscore underscore a because she commented and said we're not getting another video it's been five days and i have nothing to watch i started re-watching old videos <laughs> i know that's right you like my voice is are you on if i had a dollar for every time i said that today i'd have a lot of money the third and final shout out is going to i want to say her name is leah or lana she's pretty oh i love the hair cannot wait to get my hair done even though i just got it done like get a refresh on them because these braids are low-key kind of like it's giving it's giving nest like in it's okay that wraps up another vloggy vlog i love y'all um hold me accountable to posting like i need to tweet the where you been at because when y'all say it it hits a little harder but i do love y'all and i will see you on sunday with a new video